tocilizumab was initially um, approved for CRS with the approval of uh, teaching inclusive for BALL based on the Eliana study. And that was done so because it was really the most um, reliable treatment for CRS uh, in that study as well as across other studies. Initially, we were concerned that using tocilizumab may impact overall um, CAR T outcomes, decreased expansion, um, and then things like IL-6 may be important to the mechanism of CAR T cells working. Um, what we were able to see is that tocilizumab does not appear to impact outcomes. Um, and if anything, in some retrospective series, having more severe CRS actually predicted poorer outcomes overall. That's likely reflective of just disease characteristics like higher disease burden, higher inflammatory markers at baseline. Um, but we do not think at this point in time tocilizumab impacts overall efficacy. We're also seeing uh, tocilizumab used in earlier, er earlier lines of therapy. So uh, previously we were using it in grade three, grade four. Currently we're using it in grade two. And some people advocate for use in prolonged grade one. Um, there are some data that were presented a few years ago at ASH um, by Fred Locke, where he actually looked at a prophylactic tocilizumab study where they gave tocilizumab at a predetermined time point following cell infusion. And what they saw is that they had reduced rates of severe CRS. However, they had increased rates of severe neurotoxicity, including lethal ICANs. And so although they, you know, we advocate for use of tocilizumab when indicated, we're still not advocating for prophylactic use of tocilizumab given a potential safety signal thought to be mediated by the fact that by blocking the IL-6 receptors peripherally, or systemically, um, you're reducing receptor-mediated clearance and then causing a transient spike in IL-6, which can then uh, uh, migrate into the central nervous system and potentiate ICANs. So these areas are all being studied as well as other agents, things like anakinra, JAK1, JAK2 inhibitors, um, and other monoclonal antibodies uh, for use in the management of CAR-T-related toxicities.